We all love animations and videos. Obviously, simple ones or complex ones, long, short, any animation makes the video more interesting and exciting. Now you are probably thinking, Arthur, I can't do animations, it's difficult. To that I can say only one thing. Of course you can and I'll show you how. After all, simplicity is the key to success. Of course, creating the best animations in the world requires specialized software, but most of the animations we see on YouTube are extremely simple. In this video, I'll show you how to make five cool animations using only Movavi Video Editor and your imagination. Let's get started. How about something fun to start with? Movavi offers a huge variety of transitions from the simplest ones to the most complex, but how about creating a custom transition taken straight from the Batman animated series from the 1950s? Sounds intriguing, right? And yeah, we'll repeat a well-known effect, but you can easily create your own transition effect using the same approach. You know, creating custom animation is always an investment in your creator's identity. We always remember better those creators who do stuff differently. Anyway, for the start, let's import our files to Movavi Video Editor. We need three files, the Batman logo, the background video, and a sound effect. I have already downloaded everything I need in advance, so I'll just open the editor and import the files by clicking on Add Files. Just drag the video onto the timeline and create a new video track on top. We need it for the effect to be overlaid over our video. Now, drag the logo onto a new track around the time you want to make the transition. Right now, the logo just takes up the entire frame, so we need to add some animation. Double click on the track with the logo and in the More Tools section, select Animation. Click on Advanced and two dots appear on the track. They are called keyframes and show the start and end of the animation. By clicking on the left dot, we can specify the initial state of the image and by clicking on the right dot, we can specify the final state. The program automatically animates the image so that it transforms from the initial state to the final one. But we need more than two keyframes and I will explain why. Our logo should rotate, gradually increasing in size, but the animation follows the shortest path possible. So even if we rotate the image three times, the program will not animate three rotations for us, but will animate the least of what is needed to transfer the image from the start point to the end point, which can be less than one rotation. Sounds strange, but that's how all animation programs work. Therefore, we create a few more keyframes by clicking on Add Keyframe. Each of them now needs to be individually configured and placed on the timeline. Click on the leftmost one and you will get the opportunity to resize and rotate the image. In the first keyframe, the logo should be tiny, so reduce it as much as possible and move it to the center of the frame. The second keyframe should increase the size of the image and rotate it. Enlarge, center, and rotate. Repeat this cycle for all keyframes. Don't forget that in the very last keyframe, the image should take up the entire frame. After you've made the logo grow bigger while rotating, Congrats, half of the work is done. Repeat that for the second part when the image becomes smaller. The final animation should look like this. And it's, it's not very effective without a sound effect. Drag and drop the sound effect onto the timeline and synchronize it with the transition. And done! What do you think? Yes, this effect is pretty time-consuming, but the results are really fun. I think such a transition can brighten the mood of your viewers easily. And don't worry, the second effect is much easier. Here, I want the camera to slowly zoom away, revealing the text. I know, I know, my description makes it sound difficult, but please pay no attention to that. This effect is really easy to pull off. Import the video file and drag it onto the timeline. Next, go to the text section and drag simple text onto the timeline too. My text will say Movavi, but you can write anything. I'll choose a better font because the default one is too boring for space, right? Movavi Video Editor 2023 offers hundreds of fonts and finding the right one is pretty easy. You can also change the letter size, color, background, shadow, or outline. To make it easier to animate, I'll add spaces between each letter. Now in Tools, add two animation keyframes to the text track. It remains only to specify the positions of the text. Click on the first keyframe and start stretching the 
text size. You need to do this operation many times in a row so that the entire frame fits in the space between the letters. But it took me about a minute. Now center the text in the frame and as you can see I didn't totally make it. Surely I can go back and increase the size once again, but I don't feel like doing it. I think a twist will do nicely. I'll rotate the text a bit so that it will slowly rotate when entering the frame. Let's increase the text size a bit at the end of the animation and we're done. Here is the final animation. Maybe it's not the most complex one, but even simple animations can make videos many times better. If you don't feel like making your own animations, Mobabi offers whole packs of effects. Halloween, anime, comics, choose your style. Trends in video editing and animations are constantly changing, and Mobabi Video Suite 2023 effects packs make it easy to always stay modern. Okay, I suggest we take a break from text and animate something else. Imagine a situation, you shoot something with a drone, and the video turns out to be boring and static. Such videos are really boring to watch, so you won't have any viewer attention on them. I believe that even boring videos from a drone or static camera can be made more interesting by creating a virtual camera. And it's really easy to do. I will demonstrate the process with this boring drone footage, import the video, drop it onto the timeline and add the animation. I will add a couple of extra keyframes to make the camera movement more complex. For the second keyframe, I'll zoom in a bit to create a slow zoom effect. For the third one, I will move the video to the left and for the last one, I will return everything to the starting position. Let's see the results. The camera zooms slowly and flies around the city. At one moment, it even looks like it's following this bus. I think we can use this and add some text. I'll assume this video is about transport, so I'll add fade in text change font and synchronize it with our animation. And that's all, here's the final video. In less than a minute, we saved the video from being deleted. With this trick, you can animate even static pictures. You know, anything can become interesting with Mobavi Video Editor. So as you can see, Video Suite 2023 is an intuitive and friendly platform that combines tools for video editing, screen recording, and converting. It works great even on low-spec laptops, which is really great. In addition, the program makes full use of neural networks and artificial intelligence, which allows you to create complex effects in just a minute. For example, background removal or noise removal. Previously, it was necessary to cut a subject frame by frame frame, but now the program does this automatically in a few seconds. In addition, in the Movavi Converter, you can improve image quality, convert video, and much more. The video suite comes with one year unlimited access to the effects store. In addition to standard theme sets, you will find unique packs with overlay effects. They will help you not only set up atmospheric video color correction, but also up the style. This is a great solution for creating unique intros or transitions. There are already more than a dozen such sets with overlay effects in the store and the collection is constantly growing. And all the tools I showed you today are available via the one year subscription to Mobavi Unlimited. Unlock a new plane of possibilities with the multi-app package that has it all. Generate AI enhanced video and photo content, record screencasts, and just, just live the best version of your creative self. You can get Movavi Unlimited at 80% off on our Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale. Follow the link in the description to unlock the discount. The fourth effect will be creative and very, very easy to do. I won't even tell you what it is. <clears throat> I can't. I want I want a UFO to come and materialize the text. I know, I know, it sounds really creative, and now I will show you how it can be done. We need three files, the original video, a picture of a UFO without a background, and a picture of a light beam. All images can be downloaded from the internet or created in the Movavi photo editor. All right, import files and drop the background video onto the timeline. Then create one additional video track for the UFO, drag and drop the image on that track and choose the desired size. I want it to be not too big and not too small. Next, 
create one more video track for that white beam. Okay, now click on the track with UFO and add the animation. For the first keyframe, hide the UFO outside the frame, and for the second one, move it to the final position in the frame. Between these two keyframes, I will add an additional one to change the flight path of the UFO. We don't want it to be linear, that's all. Now, let's animate the disappearance of the UFO. To do this, add two more keyframes. I want the UFO to sort of accelerate a bit before flying out of the frame. Adjust image positions for each keyframe, adjust the animation speed by moving keyframes closer together or further away. Okay, the UFO is done. Let's create the light beam effect. Drop the image onto the timeline, resize to fit, adjust the position, and add three keyframes for animation. In the first and last keyframes, the beam should be completely transparent. And in the second, Second, semi-transparent. If done correctly, you'll get something like this. A UFO flies into the frame, shines with a light beam, and flies away. Under this beam of light, you can put anything. Links, buttons, or just text. I will add a simple text on a white background, text, simple text, add a background, and you are done. Here is what we ended up with. If you want, you can add a sound effect to this, it will be even cooler. And what do you think? Not bad for a two minute effect, right? The last keyframe animation for today will be also pretty simple. The idea is to make text bouncy and flexible. You know all those cartoons where the characters squeeze and change shapes as they move? I want to repeat that effect for the text. It is also very easy to do this, import the original video, drag it to the timeline and add simple text. My video shows a cake, so the text will be simple, cake. Now we need to add animation for this text. Tools, animation, advanced. I will be adding keyframes on the go. Right in the first one, we have the text behind the screen, and in the second, it should already be on the screen. However, in the first keyframe, I want to convey the dynamics of its movement, so I will stretch the text horizontally and flatten it vertically. It will look like the text got stretched because of the fast movement, but the text can't simply stop. I want the momentum to go somewhere, so the text will kind of squeeze horizontally and take more space vertically for a brief moment. Like the balloon filled with water hits the wall and becomes flatter. Consequently, for the second keyframe, squeeze the text horizontally and stretch it vertically, and add a third, the final position of the text. Put it in the center, adjust the desired size, and you are done. I will just add one more keyframe between the first and the second one to make the animation more fluid. And I think it's too slow. Luckily, it's easy to fix. Just move keyframes closer until you reach the desired speed. I'll choose a more tasty font, and here is the final result. I think such a dramatic entrance is something special, something people don't see often, and now you know how to do it too. And those are my five creative keyframe animations. Now you know that you don't need an expensive computer or professional software to create great effects in videos. All you need is creativity, ideas, and mobile video editor. Now go and take your videos to the next level. Like this video, hit the bell icon, and be sure to write in the comments which animation you like the most, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss new videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.